Sorry. Woo! I don't even want to do this anymore. Fuck, I fucking forgot about me. It's all good. My real name is actually Marconi. That's the first time I've been presented up as Marky. Kind of, kind of get nervous when I write it down on the open mics as Marconi, because people always confuse my name for Macaroni. Especially the fat people do this, like out of nowhere they get fucking dyslexic and like, it really pisses me off been dealing with it my whole fucking life. Anyways, um, the first time I pissed in a girl's mouth uh, was through FaceTime. <laughs> Just to give you guys a little gauge of how old I am. <laughs> um, so, you know sex and stuff, right? I guess I... What was my first joke? Damn, this thing, what kind of main event is this, dude? It was full and I now it's kind of empty, but this is like the most nervous I've been for a while. I fucking forgot what I was going to talk about. Pissing a girl's mouth. Guess that kind of threw me off. What was I going to talk about? Damn. Got my damn phone over there. First joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. So one time, I was on this, this website called X Videos. Uh, and I, I looked up 15 year old girls. I was 13 at the time. I was really into older women. It was like my first time actually on those kind of websites, dude. It threw me off, you know? It's like, got all, I thought it was a dating website, you know? I got all these ads for sexy single ladies in my area. It was really hard to, you know, explain what was going on to the police when they busted the door down looking for my dad. <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to lay off the porn a little bit as I'm getting older. Just seems like nowadays when you watch too much porn, you, you become a mass shooter. Yeah, mass... Don't want to offend anybody by saying that. You know, fuck mass shooters, you know, fuck those guys. Literally guys, there's never been a female mass shooter, you know. Been doing a lot of research on those guys. Most of the mass shooters are like incel type guys, you know, fuck the world kind of guys. You never get a girlfriend social rejects, you know? And, um, you know, tell me why, though, like, the guy who got the highest scoreboard on the on the mass shooting list is the Vegas shooter. You guys remember the Vegas shooter about five years ago? Killed, like, 50 people from the top of a hotel, dude. Tell me why that guy had a girlfriend, you know? He, like, out incel the incels at their own sport, you know? I guess moral of the story is if you want to be the best at something, you better have a woman in your corner, you know? Oh my god. So, um, recently became an organ donor. Kind of regretting it. Like, I, I did it out of the goodness of my heart, you know? Really wanting to just, like, help people out when I die and stuff like that. But then I just started getting paranoid. I started kind of thinking about it. It's like, damn, man. It's like, it's kind of, isn't it kind of sketchy how you have to register to be an organ donor through the DMV? It's like motherfuckers just waiting for you to get in a car accident, you know? It's like, especially as an Asian man, that shit gets me really paranoid, you know? And it's like, I, it gets me thinking, you know? It's like, what if I were to get in a car accident and I needed, like, I don't know, a, a emergency surgery or a blood transfusion or something, and whoever's operating on me sees my ID and they see that I'm an organ donor? And it's just kind of like, you know, you never know. What if they just start taking it easy? Like, well, if he dies, you know, it, kind of, it goes to a good cause. Like, no, man, I want 100%. I still want to live, you know? You never know, dude. You might get a surgeon who's got, like, a cousin in need of a fucking liver transplant or something. Fuck, man. What else I got going on? I don't know, man. Kind of new to comedy, if you can't tell. At least the stand-up version of it, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers don't want to see me on the ground, though. You know, I'm funny as fuck on the ground. That was a hor horrible strength. Of any martial artists in, the, in here? Yeah. UFC fans? Yeah. You guys watch, you know, sanctioned violence, dude? It's legal crime. That's basically what that shit is, dude. It's like if, if me and this guy just like, you know what, let's just fist bump and start throwing it down, we're both going to jail, you know? It's like... That's the thing, man. It's like people just kind of, I feel like most of the reason why people go to jail is because they forget they can go to jail, you know? That's how I keep myself out of jail. I just remind myself that I won't do too well in jail. That's usually all it takes, you know? What else? I don't know. Missed my exit twice on the way over here. Wasn't even anybody's fault, you know? I'm going against traffic. It's just the Asian in me. 
I'm over here looking at the other side of the freeway just to see a car rubbernecking. Fuck, dude, I would hate to be those guys. Is that a pocket? Oh, damn. You turn out now I'm on the side of the freeway. I was just talking shit about it, you know? Man. What else, dude? I don't know. What's going on? What kind of, how much time I got, dude? Five minutes? That's how you know it's like five minutes is a long time, you know? Yeah. Five minutes is a long time, but there's certain things that you can do. It's like, man, all the air is still light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess I'll just end this the same way I have sex in five minutes, dude. That's all I got. Thank you. Shout out to Michael George. Appreciate it.